not so afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh. I'm sad and know, yeah, I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? So I'm not so afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, so another another video so the whole Alinity versus PewDiePie thing I think it's funny I think it's funny because PewDiePie like dude they just been on this man's butthole for the past like they've been on his D word I don't want to say the actual word because you know YouTube is like deleting channels out of nowhere I just heard my homie reacted up got deleted for no reason but uh yeah, man, like, let's talk about what YouTube's been doing, man. YouTube's been tripping. And, um, you know, it's even the copyright issues that no one wants to talk about that PewDiePie is finally bringing to light. And he, I mean, he exposed this Twitch streamer bad, uh, Alenity. So let's check this out because apparently she wants to get PewDiePie banned, which it's just not gonna fucking happen. I'm sorry, I said I said the F word. I know it's gonna get demonetized. I don't care, but man, let's go ahead and check it out. I want to see what PewDiePie has to say about all this. Let's get right into it. Ban PewDiePie. Decided to copy strike one of my videos. Is that joke still funny? I don't because I used the word Twitch thought. In my opinion, there was no ill intent meant, and it wasn't even directed directly towards Alinity. It was more on the video that I was watching in general. She then fabricated this outrage to steal revenue from me. It happens all the time, and it's pretty clear in retrospect that that was her intention. Happens? This is so annoying. Stupid Twitch thoughts. <laughs> Seriously? You just said that? I'm gonna copy strike this guy. Just for that word. Like, for her saying copy strike, I mean, she's a pretty girl. I ain't gonna lie, but... No, she kind of... She ain't really that cute. She kind of ugly. But, like, it's just crazy how you can just copy strike. I mean, <laughs> now I'm saying it just like her. Like, how you can just copyright strike someone on YouTube that easily. Like, I'm a victim of this. I I've been banned from live streaming for, like, three months. I'm a channel with, like... 26k subs that should never happen you know but that that's what happens because youtube been uh, they've been shucking so alinity tried to copy strike pewdiepie because of i guess he just called her a twitch thought you can't get mad on legal grounds you can't get mad because someone says something about you oh, yeah, and try to copy strike some copyright strike someone Gonna copy strike. Oh, if she seemed offended and, and upset on me using the word in the way I did, at least then I could sort of buy what she's trying to say. This is not someone being upset. This is someone going, I can strike this guy's video because I didn't like what he said. You can get into serious trouble in legal court for abusing copyright laws. I don't know why. She keeps uh, doubling down on this whole thing, but afterwards... I mean, you can sue him for defamation, possibly. But then again, it's like, is it defamation? Like, look at all the clips of what you've been doing. <laughs> she said very publicly that she earns a good living doing this kind of thing. A company. That's called Collab. And they either are sending me... They sent me $700 last month from copy strike hitting people. Good money. Good money. She said, so, she said, seven hundred dollars from copy striking people. Good money. Is that seven hundred dollars? Is good money to you? You must be really broke. Like seven hundred dollars is good money to you. <laughs> Making seven hundred dollars is a bad day for me. Like, I mean, I'm not. I don't care about money, but I'm just saying. Like, that just makes you look shallow. You're willing to destroy people's lives over money, and it's not even that much. Come on. You'll do anything for a dollar. That's tragic. Honey, at this point, I hadn't said anything. The whole internet already hated Alinity because what she did was wrong and the way she said it was just gross. I need this shut I wasn't up. even going to comment about the situation. Believe it or not, I'm not into creating drama. But then she made a statement that was just so offensive, claiming all these crazy things about me, that I felt like I had to at least respond. And so I did. But I also apologized. Twice, in fact. And a lot of people call me out saying, oh, you're spineless, 
Uh, you shouldn't have apologized to her. What she did was wrong. And that wasn't really my point. She was handling the situation so extremely badly, blaming everyone else but herself, that I felt like if I can at least admit that I what I did was wrong, then maybe she can do that as well. So we can No, 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 PewDiePie. Twitch thoughts are not willing to admit they're wrong at all. Like these girls, like now they 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 will pick and especially you, like they would I'm telling you. They will go out of their way to try to destroy you, but you have more influence and more of a platform, so it's kind of hard for people to just... She's just kind of stupid overall for even trying to come at you, honestly, but that's my opinion, you know? We can just end this, so we can just move on. That didn't happen at all! She then made a response video. I mean, Collab is doing something really bad, and I think that that's the biggest thing to take out from this. Thank you, Alinity, for bringing us attention how bad Collab is. What an absolute saint. The company that you have a contract with, that you boast about getting money from striking people's videos, they are the ones being bad. You, you made and it's crazy because she's striking videos and she's not even part of the YouTube that community. That's what I find so funny. The, wrong thing to do, the fact that she created this whole situation. Instead, she just blames Collab. I've never seen her action take responsibility for her own actions in this situation. Which is why she's still getting hate. Why am I still getting hate? Now this video got taken down with a fake copy strike. I keep saying copy strike. Now. <laughs> he said, why am I still getting hate? <laughs> it sounds like Keemstar. That's pretty funny. What's that noise? Okay, let's keep going. It says that I did the copy strike. I don't know how that's possible. I can assure you this is not me. I'm not even Mimi. And this is what she had to say about it. It didn't even ask me about it. It just like got taken down. That was kind of stupid. He has a video talking about me and I can have a video talking about him. What is she even talking about? He didn't even ask me. Right, You're not. This isn't cool. Look. I'm glad you finally realized. Alinity, let me tell you, you are not immune to criticism people can criticize you okay honey like people are allowed to do that it's youtube it's the internet it's oh it's an open platform anyone can criticize you to think that you're above criticism just means you think you're better than everybody and like you just have no room to be talking like you're trash like oh my gosh i can't believe you're popular like but then again, there's a lot of girls like you that are popular, like freaking Tana Mojo and a few more I can name that arguably shouldn't even be popular. It's like, she, it's like she's learned nothing. I talk to you but like, directly. People and don't believe me when I say anyone can make it on the internet. If someone like Alinity can make it, come on now. But it was clearly false, and it, it's gotten removed now. But that's right. It is a big deal to abuse copyright, which is why you shouldn't do it. But in this video, she also had this to say. The message that I want to get out there, like, content creators shouldn't be able to call girls whores or thoughts or... Oh my gosh, you shouldn't be... Okay, okay. Even if that's... Th you're right. You're right, okay? You shouldn't call someone a whore. It, it's wrong, even if they are. You're right. And I'm not even being sarcastic. She is low-key right about that. You should always try to respect people, even if you don't agree with the way they do things but come on like you you're just so open about it on the internet like people are gonna talk about it it's the internet you can't get mad like this is an open platform like for real like <laughs> i mean it's your fault you show your you show your cleavage you show your body and i'm not saying that gives that's a good reason for people to do that i'm just saying in general like you got to understand this is the internet and people are going to say what they want because they're behind a computer and a keyboard and you are exposing yourself to that. So don't feel like it's not going to happen just because you say, oh, they sh we should be able to do it without criticism. No, that's not going to happen. That's just not how the internet works. Girl, like you are a kid. You're a child. Like if you don't understand that, that is the internet. That is that. I think that's why I have such thick skin now is because the internet, like after being called uh nigger and trash master 64 you know after a while you just don't give a damn you know or any names like that based on their appearance i wouldn't call you a whore i never called you a whore 
Why That's true, he didn't call you a whore. Are you trying to make the situation look worse for me? Now that you have to back paddle between all these things? Hmm? Let me remind you, this is your face when you watch the video. He even pointed out that he didn't accept my opinion. In his video, when B apologized to me, I don't want a person. Go get him, go get him, go get him. I want him to know thought isn't funny because it's such a beautiful word. So here she quotes what I say in my video. Oh my gosh. So she I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Very deliberate oh my gosh. She decides to ignore the fact that I said alinity. I'm sorry for calling you a Twitch thought. I will definitely be more careful when using that word in Oh my god. That's what I said, and I never used it even as a joking way towards her after that. If she can't accept that apology, what do you want from me? Like, what else can I do? It's, it's as if she's so used to getting everything done her way that she just keeps pushing this victim narrative. Like, if I seem like a victim enough, maybe they'll turn around eventually. No, Twitch girls always get what they want. Like, dudes get banned on Twitch regularly. That's why I don't even go... I kind of don't even want to go to Twitch. I kind of want to just keep streaming on YouTube because I know that on Twitch, they're going to favor females over me. Like, if she got a nice ass, a nice body, like, it's over with for me. I'm not getting no clout. It's over. And if I say one thing that messes with their policies, it's over. It's over with. <laughs> She just keeps pushing and pushing. But here's a few news news flash for you, Linity. No one is buying it. I know you don't portray yourself to be the smartest person, but I know you're not that dumb that you don't you're not aware of what you're doing. Showing your underwear on stream. That's our fault, right? Uh, and then clicking on full screen right after. Bending over with your butt on camera. That's our f I swear, like Hey. PewDiePie going in on her because he being real like he's showing the clips and everything like dude leave it up to PewDiePie to expose your ass because he will be real with you <laughs> right you're just uh, looking at your butt hair in this video you're not doing anything else eating a popsicle down your throat on camera that's, that's the popsicle the popsicle that's funny <laughs> the popsicle. Oh my gosh. She didn't pull the popsicle on, on her. It's our fault, right? Because you had a sword in your mouth. That's why you did it, right? Oh, you're just playing games with a, the shortest skirt ever. That's, That's what I'm saying. For having you looking at it today. Like, she's, even if she's not like one of those thoughts or hordes or whatever, th oh, she's, she's putting out this narrative. Like, I don't know. I can't explain it. Like, she's just showing this. She's given that image that she is, you know, like a certain way. I'm not saying it should be like that, you know, if you're like, it's the same with, I guess, a black dude, like a black dude doesn't want, you know, people to think he's a thug just because he has certain baggy clothes or something like that. But I'm just saying that's just how people are. They're going to connect images to other to past images like they're going to connect stereotypes to images and just that's just how it is, you know. That's just how it is. I don't know. I can't explain it. I don't know. What? Hello? But yeah, it's, yeah, I know it's sad, but that's how it is. Actual way, right? Oh, guys, I am just adjusting my camera right now. I'm completely unaware of what else is going on. If you have any sort of sexual intention towards this, uh, th that's our fault. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just pushing my bra together to show how the push-up bra works. Uh, that's your fault for seeing anything sexual in that. How dare you? Uh, excuse me, I'm just feeding a porn star mouth to mouth. There's nothing sexual about that. That's your fault for thinking that. Starting to see a pattern here. Now, you might say, oh, you picked this out of context. There's so many videos of this. It just keeps going and going and going. And I don't even have a problem with it. And in my video, when I said, Chip a trick time, I wasn't even calling that out. So for you to do all these things, right? And then for you to not accept my apology when I said sorry <laughs> twice, what do you want? You're just digging yourself deeper and deeper. And I'm not even pushing at this point. By the way, I found this clip through uh, L of the Day. He has some really good videos about the situation. 
His, his channel was one of the original videos that got striked by Collab DRM as well, uh, for calling her out. Now, my whole Twitter has been completely filled with Alinity just liking and retweeting uh, the very <laughs> scarce comments of uh, people saying bad things about me and good things about her. You truly have to look for these things. <laughs> so it's okay for her to retweet all these things, but, uh, you know, if I do it, it's just the worst. There's this one clip where she very publicly admits to committing marriage fraud. I don't even want to be associated with Collab DRM uh, now. And marry this guy just so she can move to Canada. You don't make any money. You work a lot. So I was like, no, hell no. So I married a Canadian and I came to Canada. <laughs> then then I, I know I'm supposed to be reacting. Really? They just came in a room. Let's just <sighs> petty, petty. But uh, let's go back and hear what he was saying. The worst. There's this one clip where she very publicly admits to committing marriage fraud. That she moved to Colombia uh, and married this guy just so she could move to Canada. You don't make any money. You work a lot. So I was like, no, hell no. So I married a Canadian, and I came to Canada. <laughs> and then I divorced him. Ha 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 ha. What the fudge? How is she gonna call? Okay. You don't want to be called a Twitch star, Twitch whore. Oh my gosh. But you are, like, plus all the clips of you doing whorish things, and then you get, oh my gosh. Then you just get exposed for marrying a Canadian guy and then divorcing them after you get to Canada. Like, I'm <laughs> like <laughs> PewDiePie is just like he's <laughs> the internet, the whole internet, and everyone in it is literally memeable. You got to do that Fortnite dance for him. You got to do that emote. All right, keep on going, keep on going. <laughs> so she made a whole video talking about it because you know it's our fault <laughs> that she publicly admitted it. A lot of people, all his little community, his little nine-year-olds that have been blocking on Instagram, and I'm telling you guys, these are like nine-year-olds, like they're very young children. Hello, every nine-year, nine-year. Okay, she's saying that PewDiePie's fans are nine-year-olds now. Now she's just a dumbass. Because there's no way he could have lasted this long if his fans were nine-year-olds, you know? His views would have, like, completely just flatlined years ago. Like, because he's able to gain new audience and at the same time somehow keep his audience that started with him, he literally grew up, grew up come of age as he was a content creator. So, I, I'm, look, I'm 22 and I started watching PewDiePie back when I was like, bro, I can say 13, 14. So I've been watching him for a long time. Like, come on. I mean, I, well, it's probably not that far back. I know I've been watching him since like the beginning, since he started. Maybe it was 15, 16, something like that. I've been watching PewDiePie for a long time, man. So even before I became a YouTuber, so... That 12 year old, 8 year old, 9 year old shit is dead. Cause like, yeah, every YouTuber has young children watching them. But best believe YouTubers got older people watching too. Just stop with that. You you probably have 9 year olds, 9, 12 year old horny boys watching you and that's it. And when they grow up and have a girl, I mean, their own girlfriend, guess what? Who is Alinity? You probably be old by then. That's why you don't base your content on your looks, whore. All watching this video, I know you're a complete army, just ready to follow my single demand. Who are we gonna attack next tonight, year olds? Let's go together. <laughs> and now they're all falsely reporting me to the Canadian government. Now that's illegal. Oh, that's illegal! Thank you for the legal advice by the legal expert, Alinity, everybody. That's right, it's our fault for thinking that she committed marriage fraud when she very publicly and openly said so. How dare you think that way, huh? It's not like she said it. You have to understand- Like I said, this is the internet. Like, 
when you put you got to be careful what you put out there because everyone on the internet is not your friend like why would you put oh i just so and so a canadian guy i married a canadian guy so i can get in canada and you're, you're expecting the internet to be not ruthless when you came at the internet's emperor pewdiepie well i wouldn't say he's the emperor oh my coffee's almost done but he's not like he's not someone that you want to mess with especially with the amount of subs he has and he did nothing to you he's he's gonna straight expose your ass like and the consequence of your own words i know that's weird for me to say right but at this point it's just getting ridiculous and for you to then come out and say I am not the first person that he's done this to. She's sort of insinuating that I'm just waiting for the next person to attack when it was clearly her that created this whole situation. I don't know how many times I have to say it. And I don't know how this hasn't been stopped earlier on. But you, when you're a content creator, you are responsible for a community. So it's completely fine for you to call me out. Let's <laughs> see when you call, like, oh my gosh. You called out PewDiePie. And then you accused him of this when clearly everyone knows PewDiePie's videos are jokes. You stupid. She's, I think she's like messed up in the head. With your community, but just because you're a smaller channel, I'm not allowed to defend myself, right? She's sort of insinuating that I should get uh, banned or something like that. I think that as a content creator, you have to be responsible for the people that follow you and the things that you say when a person follows you. I don't think it's okay to allow your community... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You say it. You have to be responsible for the things you say. Okay, hold on, hold on. You can't say that and then talk about, oh, I married a Canadian guy so I can live in Canada. Oh, I'm gonna copyright, uh, copy strike PewDiePie because I don't like what he said. You, you're, you're contradicting yourself, and it's kind of, it's, it's kind of just like borderline insanity how much you're contradicting yourself that you're no longer self-aware of your, 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 your manipulative, your manipulative sentences coming out of your mouth, like you're no longer aware I think I think you're lying so much and contradicting yourself so much you're no longer aware of it she crazy man I, I can't stand I can't stand youtubers and twitch streamers people hate me when I say I can't stand them I'm a youtuber and twitch streamer but I don't act like this I don't act like this dude like I just live my life I go to work I, and then I, I stream I upload my videos whatever I make my money that's it dude like this y'all take this shit way too serious this is she is crazy oh my gosh content creator community should not be a lot bitch what what do you think this is <laughs> like, bully somebody in the way that I bully somebody I bully uh, hold up this bitch try to bully PewDiePie with her titties and say oh I'm not a thought you can't do that. I'm gonna copy strike you. I'm about to make some good money. Someone ban her. I didn't say anything until I had I was forced to defend myself. It was the internet that came after Alinity because of her poor choice of action and poor choice of words. To then deflect that on me and my community, it's just ridiculous. You're the one that keeps pushing this whole situation. I've been trying to settle it. And guess what? It keeps going. It just keeps going. She then I'm telling people. Every platform that comes at YouTube dies. <laughs> Vine is dead. Vidme is dead. Musically, some it's only a lie because people post compilations still on YouTube. Okay. Twitch gonna die. Cause like if they like this is the main reason it's like it's so weird because it seems like the shittiest people come out of the other platforms. But like I mean there's some shitty people on YouTube of course. But like it's like you go to Vine, the majority of people like J Paul and all them trash people. You know, Vidme, you know, they weren't trash people. They just didn't have the resources. You know what I'm saying? And then arguably, you could just say they were lazy people because they felt like YouTube owed them something. That's why they went to Vidme.
and then you know twitch you got all these like i had a twitch streamer tell me in comments youtube money sucks you ain't making no money you're trash youtubers are trash like we don't do this most youtubers don't even do this for money i'm telling you like there's some trash people on these other platforms that's why youtube won't die because youtube you know really humbles you it can be very hurt like YouTube will humble your ass, like, for real, like. And very publicly admits that she's been getting special favors from Twitch. But, uh, that's our fault. Just watch. Imagine you guys, you stream for five years, full time. I've gotten drunk, I've fallen, my butt has shown, you know, and Twitch has been behind my back the whole time. Like, okay, it's okay, you know, just delete the clips, you know, we're cool. I've been good with Twitch. I've never even had a 24-hour suspension. I've never had a suspension on Twitch. Maybe this is the problem. She's never actually been forced to be held accountable. I'm, I'm sorry, but Twitch, the people who work at Twitch, the moderators, I mean, are these girls, like, doing sexual favors for you? Like, I'm trying to understand why females get this much treatment. And she just openly admitted it. She just confirmed what everyone was speculating about. Because no one really had any cold, hard proof. We just said, okay, girls never get banned. We assume as guys, oh, they get more treatment over us. You know, and then, you know, it's the people who moderate Twitch can say, well, that's a coincidence. Everyone is bound by our policies. No. She just confirmed it. So what is Lenity doing? Like, I'm trying to understand. Even if she's not doing any sexual favors, like, are you just favoring her because she's pretty? Accountable for her action. Twitch has, like she says, been giving her favors. Oh, God. Lenity, you broke the terms of service. Just delete this video and we'll just move on. When they are so strict on Twitch with these sort of rules and people get banned all the time for this sort of thing. They don't even you know? Okay, they just tell her to delete the clips, but she, like, there's people who just get straight banned. Straight banned. They don't get no chance. You feel me? Well, that's our fault. Chad reacted to this. And Twitch has been behind my back the whole time. Like, hey, it's okay. You know, just delete the clips. You know, we're cool. I've been good with Twitch. I've never even... Why? How come when I show nudity that I tell me that? They just ban me. What the fuck? Oh, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She's clearly just been getting a free pass constantly. Which is why she keeps playing this victim. Because she gets away with doing that. And guess what? It keeps going. On the very same live stream. I swear to I God. I mean, I don't want her to get in trouble or anything. Or lose, like, her income and stuff. But, like, honestly, I feel like she needs to learn a lesson. They need to at least give her a suspension. You know, or a, a temporary ban or something. Like, because this, this can't fly. Or she need to be, like, on YouTube. They need to ban her off YouTube until she can't come here. We going to tear her ass apart if she come to YouTube, boy. We going to tear her ass apart, boy. You know how it is over here with these YouTubers. We ain't for to play with you at all. At all. She's just showing off that she's untouchable at this point. <laughs> she drops the n-word. Why? Black friends call each other's <gasps> like kind of like calling your friend bitch. You know, Twitch they have very strict rules. People get banned. She said, "I have black." What are you talk? What is she talking about? Time for this sort of thing. You're not allowed to do this, or or at least they've been very harsh on guys. One of her own audience members calls her out on this. And this is how she responds. You come in not saying that ever again? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm part black, so I don't... I don't I'm part black. Like, why would you I'm dead. That? She well, said I'm part black. Where? I where? I mean, I'm not trying to take it away from her. She may actually be part black. I know people that, like... Just because you don't, like, have the genes that, like... Like, curly hair, coarse hair, or whatever, or darker complexion doesn't mean... She's not part black or have some black in her. You know, I have white people in my family that look really white, but you wouldn't think they're my family members because they look that, you know, they look that different gene. But I'm just saying, don't give it a reason to be able to say a word if that's what she's about to say. You know, I don't think saying the N word is bad. You know, if any, I don't think 
white people or non-black people or you know we're not even black that's not even our true like name of us they just that's a label america created but i'm just saying in america as black people like i don't think white people or caucasians should should be or non non african american people should be like Oh, you said the N-word. Oh, we got to treat you. Got, you're racist. That's fighting racism with racism. That's kind of stupid, you know. But that's my opinion. I'm clearly not the right person to comment about this. But saying the N-word in this context, it didn't seem that bad. Like, yeah, that like, it's all about context. Like, if you say, hey, nigger, you know, you're a nigger. You're trash, you know. And that that's a derogatory term. That's to dehumanize somebody. But if you say, what's up, my nigga? You think I'm gonna get mad? No. If, I, if a white dude comes up to me and says, "What's up, my nigga?" I'm not gonna care. It's about the context, bro. Like, if he says you're a nigger, you're trash. You know, that's that's a whole different story. It's like, dang, you're trying to demean me. But it could be the same way if I say, you know, what's up? You know, I've said sometimes, "What's up, white boy?" And they don't get mad. But if I say, you're a cracker. You're you're a cracker. You're low. You're you're a peasant. You know, that can be derogatory. So it can go both ways. There's there's trash words in every culture. Like wet, they call Hispanics wetbacks. You just gotta really don't even. You gotta really. Life is too short. I try not to even care about this stuff. It it can be a major issue. It can hurt people's feelings. Um, and I'm not taking racism away. I don't think racism is going away. I think uh, racism is a bad thing, and I don't think anyone, any culture, should have to suffer that. I feel like African Americans probably have gotten it the most. And like, yeah, I mean, no one wants. I feel like no one should use the word in general. That's how I'm feeling about the word. No one should use it. How about that? I think that's better. But um, if it's gonna be that much of a problem. Just don't use the N-word. Don't even touch the word. Don't touch it. Why? Don't touch the word. But anyways, let's keep on with the PewDiePie video. To her to say, I can say the N-word because I'm 10% black. <laughs> and justifying it. Twitch has shown a clear bias for uh, female streamers on the platform for a long time. One of the guys that were handling the IRL streamers got fired yeah. because of it. And they made a public statement saying, please watch us closely and hold us accountable. Yes. Now, I don't want Eleni to be but the more I think about it, it might just be good for her. If she doesn't want to apologize, if she keeps wanting to push the situation, at least just stop. At least stop streaming for a few days. Just stop what you're doing, because you're not making the situation better. I swear. I think it could be a good opportunity for Twitch to show that they're not biased with the rules on the platform and they do follow the same guidelines for everyone and yeah like if they really want to prove that females don't have it better they need to go ahead and just be like hey alinity we're gonna ban you for 30 days because we really thinking over here females doing something to, to keep themselves from getting banned i mean females have gotten banned out of nowhere before i'm just happy saying it rarely happens as much as it does to guys like to dudes like they get banned left and right on Twitch like a motherfucker like it ain't even funny how fast they are just like they won't even think about it bro but anyways that was banned PewDiePie his video was dope I hope you guys enjoyed my gameplay and my commentary and what I talked about and uh, I'm gonna keep on streaming as always and um, I don't even know where I'm landing I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna land cuz boy I'm dying. <laughs> I'ma land. Let's let's hit let's hit uh let's hit down here. I don't know, I don't think nobody's down here. I hope not. Not anyone I wanna see. Not anyone I wanna see. I ain't trying to see nobody. Ooh, big shield, big shield, big shield, big shield. Ooh, big shield, big shield, big shield, big shield. 
Alright, so... No one's out here. We're gonna be good, we're gonna be good. I need resources, 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 resources. Hey, uh, Fernando, what's up? Uh, I don't know where we're gonna go. I'm trying to. Please be a chest. I need a chest. Yes. I'm in some random spot. I don't even know where I'm at. I got two big shields, so I should have full shield and a mag kit. What, what you got? You got a launch pad? I don't have. I need a launch pad. That'd be oh, nice right now. Ooh. Oh, Yay! Yes, 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 yes! Ha ha! Ma ha ha ha! Oh, I just hear another chest. It's somewhere in here, in the house. In the oh, I see, I see, I see. Yay. Actually, you just. Let's see if I can. Yeah. There we go. Anything, uh. Oh, stone. Do I need that? Maybe. No, I'm good. I'm stocked. What you got? What kind of guns you got? I got a hella. I got a hella good, uh. Oh my god! I need a launch pad. You said what? I need a launch pad. Yeah, me too. Oh, the circle is coming. I don't have a launch pad, the circle is coming. Oh. We should be good because of us. I think the circle's slow on this mode. Wait, what mode is this again? I forgot. It's a uh, 50 versus 50, right? Yeah, the storm comes slow on 50 versus 50, so you don't have to worry about it. It'll be enough time to get out of here, in and out. Right now, uh, the circle is slow. Yeah, so I would just start running now. You should make it. How far are you out? Oh, I see how far you're are. You're out. Yeah, I will start running now. I have to to come fire. Cause I have a long way. Also, I got a long, super long way. I got the battle pass. Yeah, I do. I have the battle pass. Add add me on PSN after this game. Yes, and dude, this game like when you think about it, they they should just make the map a little bigger and add vehicles. Cause I understand why they won't add vehicles because of how small the map is, but if they make it bigger, like and add vehicles. This map and just. Don't make it to where everyone can get a vehicle. Just scatter them, like maybe 
You see that music? Maybe 15 vehicles, huh? You see that? You see that music? Yeah. I wish I can get a. I want a jetpack. You have a jetpack? No, I said I wish I had one. I want one. It's a so bad music. You said what? Oh, yeah, true. I'm close, I'm close to the circle, I'm close to the circle. I'm gonna search this chest. Oh no no, it's already been searched. <gasps> what made them I got a jetpack? Yes. Jetpack! Haha! -ha. I wonder what made them put it down. No way. What? Mm. I thought you died or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone's got a launch pad, I think. Because I saw someone flying. Yeah, someone's got a launch pad. This jetpack looks dope, I'm not gonna even lie. Oh my gosh. How much do you have? You said what? You said how much fuel I have? A lot. Yeah, I got a lot of fuel. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even use this all. You just gotta be strategic with it. Okay, I'm gonna drop down right here. Two people. Oh, two people. Oh, three people. I want. Oh, uh huh. Oh, two. Oh, there. Okay. I want to have to Okay, hold up. I don't have ballot or a CG. No way. I don't. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't see nobody. No Come on. Go by me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I need you. Sam, come here. Oh, come I'm trying to stay alive. I gotta stay alive. I'm Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you? Yeah, I can't come get you. I think oh, our people. No. Oh, please! Yeah, fucking, fucking Sam. Get out! You didn't, you didn't go and get Sam. Crap. Let's hope I can stay alive. Okay, go, 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 go. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. I don't see no shit. Let's see what we got. So <laughs> bro, my god. Dang it, bitch, I'm dead, oh well. Good match, good match, good match. Good match, good match.